What's up guys and welcome back to Gabe Miller Music. This is the 2020 edition of the best or at least my favorite packs for the Novation Circuit. Loading a new sound pack onto this thing always makes it feel like you've got a completely new device with a ton of new possibilities and capabilities. So even though I'm like an okay sound designer, I am a big fan of loading an entire pack onto this or cherry picking sounds from multiple packs and going from there. This video is gonna be a bit different from my previous Novation Circuit Best Packs video for a couple of things. First of all, it's going to include a few new packs that were released since then that I think deserve a spot in the absolute best list. And also I'm gonna break this down not by ranking packs, but by genre and by style. So if you're looking to make a certain style on the Novation Circuit, this video should be a good resource for where to get sounds and where to get the best sounds for that style. Genres I'm going to talk about include uh, retro stuff, chill stuff, hip hop, modern EDM, and modern bass music. So let's start off with kind of retro stuff. And there are a couple of packs that are really good for this, and they've got quite a bit of overlap in terms of style, but are definitely distinct. These are Big City Great Decay's packs DeLorean Dream and Vapor Dream. DeLorean Dream is meant for more kind of 80s inspired synthwave, retro wave, synth pop. Uh, you can also use it for progressive house, pretty much anything that needs these really warm analog style synth tones. I've used it for a ton of songs. It's kind of a Novation Circuit classic and kind of a staple of any Novation Circuit users library of packs. And I've made quite a bit that I like with it. Vapor Dream is more meant for vaporwave style stuff, another kind of hypnagogic, chill, slightly off kilter and chaotic electronic music. And it's definitely got quite a bit of crossover. You can definitely use it for synthwave and I have done that, but it really shines for vaporwave and some kinds of wonkier, more off kilter electronic hip hop. This brings us quite nicely into the hip hop category. So I already mentioned Vapor Dream as being good for some kind of vaporwave inspired hip hop, or maybe something that might end up on say like a recent Drake record. If you're looking to make more old school kind of boom bap, lo-fi hip hop, Big City Great Decay's pack Street Dreams is pretty good for that. And I do recommend it. I've used it also for a bit of kind of liquid drum and bass and such. It's pretty versatile, but it's definitely geared more towards lo-fi and kind of old school hip hop. If you want to produce modern trap style hip hop, I'm going to recommend you combine a couple of different packs. First of all, my free drums pack. I built this very intentionally to include a lot of different kinds of styles of electronic music and hip hop, including some super modern trap stuff like those punchy kicks, some 808 style trap snares, and stuff like horn and vocal samples. That's available at the link in the description. All I ask in return is that you hit that like button and subscribe for more Novation Circuit related videos. For synth sounds, I've had very good luck using Tom Cosm's pack, Nice and Naughty, which has some great stuff for kind of polyphonic chords and arps 
and also has this one specific patch that I always use for an 808 or kind of a fake 808 that hits pretty hard, has some grit to it, and is pretty versatile for whatever feel you're going for. So if you combine my drum pack and Tom Cosm's pack, I think you'll have a good time. And then maybe work in something from Vapor Dreams or maybe a more chill pack to kind of even it out. The combination of my drums pack and Tom Cosm's pack are also great for more kind of EDM styles of trap and big room EDM, especially if it's a little more on the darker side. If you'd like to do more kind of melodic anthemic EDM, Big City Great Decay's pack, Progressive Dream is great for that. I've used it for trance, progressive house, future bass, and melodic dubstep, and it kills it at those genres. And that would be my go-to for those kinds of styles. But speaking of melodic dubstep, if you wanna do heavy bass music, like drum and bass and proper dubstep, there are packs that you can use for that. First of all, I keep mentioning Tom Cosm's pack because this thing really packs some punch. I've used it for some heavy drum and bass before to great effect. What's up next? As much as I love Tom Cosm's pack, there's a new challenger, and this has quickly become one of my all-time favorite Novation Circuit packs as a base head, and that's Dread Steppa, which is also on Isotonic. They sent that one over, and while the drums in that pack don't really do it for me, I replaced them with my own drums, the basses and other synth sounds in there are glorious. They're gritty, they're punchy, they're utterly distorted, they really push the boundaries of what I thought the circuit was capable of in terms of bass music and in terms of heavy EDM. This pack is fantastic. If you're a bass head, you need this thing. Just by themselves, Vapor Dream, Progressive Dream, and Dread Step Up make this video worth doing in 2020 and updating from the previous year. Because all three of those packs, I think, are some of the best out there, especially for the more modern kinds of electronic music that I, as the consummate Gen Zer that I am, find myself listening to and making a whole lot of. Let's pull back a bit from the super heavy music, though, and chill it out a bit. If you're trying to make kind of Deeper, darker styles of house and techno. Deep and Low by Gemfire is really good for that. So your tech house, deep house, that kind of stuff, I've found a lot of use for it for those styles of music. <laughs> And finally, let's talk about really chill beats. Say something that sounds like it could come from Boards of Canada or the Minecraft soundtrack. For that kind of stuff, I'll recommend a couple of packs. For me, the original Red Means recording pack is kind of the holy grail of chill sounds. It sounds like the Novation Circuit to me. That sound pack and Jeremy's sound and the sound of the Novation Circuit all are kind of intertwined in my brain. And so if I want to make some really chill beats, that's one of my go-tos. And finally, Bow Beats Pack Coffee and Beats Volume 2 is also really good for kind of some analog style, super chill music. I'll always include this pack on this kind of list, 
especially because people seem to really enjoy the music made with it, and because I have a huge amount of respect for Bo and what he's done for the synth nerd community here on YouTube. And those are my picks for my absolute favorite Novation Circuit Packs ever by genre. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, I'd appreciate if you hit that like button and subscribe for more Novation Circuit and other synth and groove box related videos. If you'd like to see some Novation Circuit jams that I've done, you can click or tap up over here. And if you'd like to see me make beats from scratch or explain how to make different styles of music on the Novation Circuit, you can click or tap up over here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with a new video in a little bit.